Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your tarot reading. This is a reading intended for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And we'll be looking at the messages of love that are coming up here for you. So really appreciate you guys being here. If you like this video, don't forget to uh, drop a like and also to hit the subscribe and the bell button to get updates for readings for your sign and your element. Um, so we'll see what's coming up for the sign of Gemini or to the cross watches dealing with the Gemini. This reading can be applicable to your love situation, um, but we'll jump into it and see what's coming up. What's the overall energy all right, for Gemini? What are they going through right now? Let's see what's happening for us gems. Okay, overall energy is the full. So straight away I'm picking up a sense that we feel a little bit lost in a situation. We feel maybe a little bit disorientated. So some of you, you know, you're out there thinking, well, what do I do now? What's the next step now? Something has maybe gotten lost in translation. And I feel with the fool, it's this energy where you know, he's just going about his day. He's got the sun here, so you're thinking about yourself. And I think it's something that has affected you internally. Um, but the white rose is showing like submission. And I think you're coming into a, a place where you're just letting things flow and letting things happen without getting too involved. I think for some of you, you may be prepared to take some risks when it comes to love but you don't want to end up getting hurt and you don't want to end up looking like the fool here. It can be like embarrassment as well. You may feel maybe a little bit embarrassed at something that you've done. You know, Gemini, we tend to get ourselves in these sort of situations here. We often, you know, speak before we think. Um, oftentimes we don't really have a filter. So, um, you know, I wonder if it's that and we sort of just want to sink in our chair and be like, Oh, cringe, I can't believe I did that, or I can't believe I went to that level, can't believe I went to that extreme, you know, I, I feel like you're lacking a bit of direction, but don't beat yourself up, it is Aries energy with the fool, so if you're in this kind of Aries energy, you're stubborn about a situation, yet you have to submit, so it's, it's a bit tough, you're putting yourself in a tough position here, um, I feel like there is some of you that are optimistic that the situation can get better, but you know, you're trying to be optimistic, but at the same time, you're submitting to whatever comes your way. You're leaving it to a higher power. Okay. You're, leave, you're leaving all that heavy stuff to God, to the universe. And it's come up in your reading here as well. So what's happening here with the wheel of fortune in that there's a lot of changes. Uh, that are coming your way. Changes that you wanted, changes that maybe you didn't want, but they're destined to happen around you. And I feel like this is a very auspicious time. Um, it almost resembles a clock. So this is telling us that this period that we find ourselves in right now is an important one. I think there's a lesson that needs to be learned or you are currently learning, which you may not see right now. It may come in time. It may come eventually. Um, but I feel like it's an opportunity to sort of work on yourself in a way. You know, we've got that Empress here. So I feel like there's growth. There's growth in feeling lost. Um, you know, maybe you felt like someone has abandoned you or you walked away from a love situation. Um, but there's there's beauty in it in some way. And there's growth. I feel like you're not aware as yet of what it is um, that you have to take from this. High Priestess here is telling us it's yet to be revealed to you. So there's whatever seems to be going on right now, it's yet to be revealed. Now, a lot of you are probably trying to tap into your psychic energy. Maybe you're getting tarot readings done. Maybe you're trying to look for answers from the universe. You're trying to understand why you've been placed in this position. And what's the meaning behind everything that's going on here. Um, 
but I feel like you will get that opportunity. In a way, maybe you need to chase it. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, there's something out there that you need to chase. It could be a new person. It could be a new connection, but it's telling you that action is required on your part. I feel like you've already taken the first steps though. It's more like, okay, now what? What am I going to do now? I'm in this position. I've tried everything I could. Now what? I think, you know, there's been some toxic energy. Notice the devil on the bottom here. And you're turning your back on it. And I think in turning your back on whatever's been happening, you felt disrespected, you felt hurt, whatever it is that you've gone through. Now you're coming into this kind of energy where you have to put it behind you. Or it's a time, it's an opportunity right now to put it behind you. Or walk away from it. Not focus your energy and your attention on it. Um, I feel like there's a message of truce in a way. Um, maybe you felt like oh, a little bit defeated and it's like, you know what? If they're going to continue doing this to me, it is what it is. I'm going to leave. I'm not going to put up with it. So I don't necessarily see you putting up a wall, but I feel like you're waving the white flag like I surrender. I don't want to play these games anymore. So maybe there's been game playing. It's sort of tit for tat. They do something to hurt you. You do something back. You know, maybe that's your way of trying to make each other hurt, make each other jealous. Um, is it healthy? No. Um, can it stop? Yes. But it's probably going to stop with you rather than that other person. I feel like there may be some communication coming up here. It's important. I think it's a message. Um, it could be like a text, an email. Could even be like a message from the universe. There's some communication here um, and it's going to be insightful that you're on the right track. So it's going to make you think about things more. It's, it's some communication, but it's like growth communication because that Ace of Wands is offering itself to the Empress. So I feel like it's there's an opportunity for you to grow in a way where it's either you stop playing these games or like you just think, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm over this. I'm too old for this or I can't do this anymore. It's just going to keep going. I feel like it stops with you and there's an opportunity for you to do that. And whatever that means for you, backing away, getting in no contact, um, moving on to a new connection entirely, um, just focusing on you, you know, you doing you could be that as well. Whatever opportunity is coming your way, it's an opportunity to stop, to put an end to something that's unhealthy. Um, and I feel like maybe you're still sort of figuring it out, Gems, you know, maybe the process is still ongoing, the full, you're still finding your feet about how you feel about this situation and take your time. Don't feel rushed. Um, take your time in this situation, knowing it is what it is. It's happened the way it's happened. But there's some course of action you can do to help become the lesser fool, okay? To help you put the toxicness underneath, away, um, and come into the Sphinx energy, which is um, the chariot. You can be cancer coming through here, and this is your emotions. And it's a process. You have one, two, and three. So you're in... You're in the early stages of a new vibration, okay? These these are early numbers. You've got a new start. Um, two is a relationship number. So you've got support around you in whatever decision you make, um, where there's this connection that's still hovering around you. You've got that number three here, which is going on a new journey um, or something that needs to happen as part of your life path. And that looks like it needs to happen right now because you're in those early stages. So... Maybe more for you guys that have come out of a, a stage, come out of a relationship, come out of a talking stage. You've come out of something with that nine and then you're coming into the one, two and three. So a lot can happen from this. 
that full energy, overall energy can take your places, but only if you let it. Like I said, the, the, the opening will be there for you to change your love life right now, but only if you take the action. Because High Priestess and Empress, they're both messages of growth. They're both messages that, you know, but it's also like new starts and new beginnings. So you might be planting the seed, whatever sort of work you're doing on yourself, whatever sort of action you're taking in love, it could be positive in a way that it's going to alter your spiritual alignment. It's going to alter the way you give and receive love for the better. So I think it's just about welcoming in that process. So an opportunity for you to change and grow. Um, and you people will notice that with the emperor. Your person will notice that. Your ex will notice that. You're the person that you're wanting to attract. Your friends, your family, people around you will notice the growth. And if you're able to enter this vibration, you will come into that Empress energy. So you have the potential to go from the full. So whatever sort of, wherever you sort of find yourself now, if you're feeling lost or in translation, you have the potential to go to the Empress and the High Priestess level. So, you know, there's some major revelations happening here, Gems. You've got to open yourself up to it. You have to let it flow. You have to allow for this process to happen because this opportunity doesn't come around too often. So there's a reason why it is coming up for you here. So um, take it, utilize it, embrace it, and thrive on it, gems. A really beautiful reading, I think, for you. So thank you again for tuning in, everyone. Um, and I'm sure we'll catch up very, very soon. So thanks again and bye for now.